Hello everybody. People are asking me this question over and over again. Why is this coronavirus causing this level of concern? Why is everything shutting down? Even though the death rate is relatively low, like around 1% or less. We've had other far more deadly viruses like the SARS, MERS and Ebola, which killed a lot more of the people that were infected. So why is it that we're doing so much more for this coronavirus, for COVID-19? One of the things with those other more deadly viruses is that the majority of people got much sicker when they got infected. So they stayed home. They were too sick to go about their daily lives. So they didn't infect as many people around them. COVID-19 on the other hand is causing mild disease in the majority of people. So infected people don't feel too bad. Many of them don't even know they have it and they're up and about doing their usual stuff, unknowingly infecting large groups of people. The problem is not everyone who gets the infection gets a mild version. About 20% of people are getting really, really sick. They need intensive hospital treatment. They are needing ICU beds, oxygen tanks, and breathing machines. If we had an unlimited number of hospital beds, breathing machines, and oxygen tanks, then this would not be such a big problem. But we don't have that. We don't even have enough to take on the extra burden. Usually during the flu season, Lots of hospitals are already running at full capacity. You now add the coronavirus to it at the same time, and you can see how quickly things can and have gotten out of hand. We might have to face a situation like Italy, where ventilators are being rationed, where people over 80 are being left without care so that they can give the ventilator to younger people who might have a better chance of survival. No doctor ever wants to make that decision. No one in Italy thought that this would happen to them. And we would be naive if we thought that this happen can't happen to us in the US or in India. Next, we don't have an unlimited supply of healthcare workers. Often doctors and nurses are stretched to the limit during the usual flu season. Now they have to deal with this new virus in addition to the flu. They are overworked and exhausted. They are not robots that can work nonstop for days, weeks, and months on end. They also get sick, just like their patients. They also need time to recover. Every time a healthcare worker gets sick, we can't just replace them with somebody off the street because they need years of specialized training. We also do not have enough tests to check every person at the clinic or the hospital with symptoms of possible coronavirus infection. So the nurse or the doctor has to treat every one of these people as if they had the virus. That means they have to put on their masks, their eye shields, their gloves, and their gowns for every one of these patients presenting with respiratory symptoms. But when we do that, we run out of all these things. So now we have doctors, nurses, and others tending to very sick people without any masks or shields. I have doctor friends in Dallas pleading for donations of masks for their clinics. This is just not acceptable. If we start losing our healthcare workers to this virus, then we are really in a lot of trouble. So the only way we can avoid these scenarios where we're having to choose who to put on the ventilator is to prevent a large number of patients from coming into the hospital all at once. And the only way we can do that is by social distancing. But when people don't understand the implications and instead get together in large groups, then governments are forced to make them do their social distancing for them by shutting everything down. If we all stayed home as much as possible and didn't get together with groups of people, then we wouldn't need to shut down. But unfortunately, that is what it has come to because people are crowding in bars, restaurants, malls, parks, and beaches when they are told to stay home. It is not to prevent people from getting infected. Many people are going to get infected. The virus is already in the community. It is about preventing a bunch of people from getting sick at the same time. We want to stagger the timing so people trickle into the hospitals rather than flood them all at the same time 
and overwhelm our healthcare system. So let's stay at home people. Let's give our doctors and nurses a fighting chance. Let's keep them safe. Don't make them decide if you will get that ventilator or give it to someone younger. Please stay home until we have time to get more masks, more cotton swabs, more hand sanitizers, more gowns. Please stay home until we can keep our healthcare workers safe. Is this convenient? No. Am I going stir crazy at home? Yes. But can we make it through this? Certainly. Good health to everyone and thank you for watching.